Today I'm gonna show you how to make this dish called Tex-Mex Chicken and Zucchini. I basically started my blog ifoodreal.com with it and since then it really took off. It is a one pan 30 minute healthy dinner and the best part is that you chop everything, throw in a skillet, put some shredded cheese on top and it is a low carb healthy dinner everyone will love. It is super popular in summer because chicken and zucchini, but you can make it year round with just any grocery store produce. Let's do it. We start with prepping chicken and vegetables. Here I have dedicated meat board for hygienic reasons and easy cleanup. I have two large chicken breasts that I'm going to cut into one inch pieces. You can also use boneless and skinless chicken thighs or even any parts of chicken. Cut it, transfer to a bowl and set aside. Now set the meat board aside, wash your knife and time to chop the vegetables. Going to start with zucchini. Trim the ends and the stem part. Then depending on the size of zucchini, here I have smaller zucchini. So I'm just going to cut each in half and then into half moon shapes. And don't cut them too thin because zucchini has very high water content and it cooks super fast, so you want to keep them crunchy. Set them aside in a bowl. Now it's time to cut bell pepper. To cut bell pepper, I'm switching to utility knife. It's a medium-sized knife. Cut it in half, then remove the seeds. And I like to tap on it and shake out the seeds into a bowl. You can use any color bell peppers. I'm using red and yellow, and actually green pepper would be very nice if you like that a little bit of bitter and less sweet taste. I do. Transfer to a bowl and set aside. So all our vegetables are going to separate bowls and we're going to add them in stages. Now it's time to chop an onion. I'm using yellow onion. You can also use white onion and quite frankly, red onion will work as well. I am quite experienced with onions, so I'm just trimming the both ends. If you are less experienced, I recommend to keep the hairy end intact, then peel the outer shell and cut it into layers and then lengthwise, crosswise and dice it. That hairy end really helps to keep the layers together and makes onion cutting easier. I just frankly forget <laughs> and chop it all. That's how my grandma cut the onions and that's how I cut. And I know everyone has their own way. I also like to run the knife over the onion again to make sure it's finely chopped. We're going to add one 15 ounce can of low sodium black beans. Rinse and drain them. Now let's chop three large garlic cloves. If you take the garlic cloves and put them on a cutting board and smash them with the side of the chef's knife, the peel will come off super easy and then you can easily mince it. A little bit of green onion and cilantro, fresh herbs add amazing flavor and taste with very little calories. So I'm going to chop green onions, trim off the hairy ends of white part and then the ends on the other side and just slice them. If you have chives in your garden or in your fridge, go for it. Or you can just skip it all together. Transfer to the bowl and set aside. Now we're going to chop cilantro and what I do, I take the whole bunch and then I shave off the leaves and discard the stems. And then all I have left are the leaves and I just chop them. This makes chopping leafy herbs like parsley, cilantro or dill super easy. Now we're going to grate the cheese. Who doesn't love cheese? Here I have marble cheese, or also known as Tex-Mex cheese. So it's white and yellow cheddar, grated on a smaller size hole because it melts better. This chicken and zucchini dish is quite large, so I'm using extra large 14 inch pan. You can also use 12 inch. And avocado oil is my favorite for frying because it has high smoke point. Then you're going to add garlic, onion, and bell peppers to the skillet and fry them for a few minutes to let the flavors come out. And in the meanwhile, we're going to open diced tomatoes. Lots of flavor, it's already smelling delicious. And once vegetables are a little bit cooked, push them to the side, everything cooks in one skillet and add your cubed chicken breast. Then we're going to season them with cumin, salt and pepper. These are not all the spices. There will be more later. 
and we're going to cook them right there. If you feel the need to add a little bit of more oil, go for it. I'm using non-stick skillet, but I felt like ah, I could add a little bit of more oil. Now I'm using thawed frozen corn and we're adding our black beans and you will need 14 ounces of diced canned tomatoes. I have super large can, that's why I'm using only half. And we're adding our cubed zucchini and we're almost done. So here we have cumin and taco seasoning, salt and pepper, sprinkle it all over all ingredients and give everything a good stir. And what we're going to do now is cook it for five to 10 minutes. And because I have super extra large skillet, I'm going to use Ukrainian hack. And for the lid, I'm using baking sheet and it works like a charm. So now our veggies and chicken is cooked. We're going to stir it a little bit more and it's time to add cheese. At this point, you can turn off the heat or have it really low. Sprinkle the cheese and I highly recommend to grate your own because for shredded packaged cheese doesn't melt as well. Just cover with the baking sheet or lid and let the cheese melt for a couple minutes. And all you have to do now at this point is just garnish with cilantro and green onion. And I always leave a little bit more on a side for individual servings on a plate because fresh herbs, love fresh herbs. And look at all this cheesy goodness with a lot of vegetables, more than chicken, how healthy it is. It is a low carb dish. Everyone loves it, kids love it. It has Tex-Mex flavors, sauce, cheese on top, 30 minutes, one pan. Chopping doesn't take that long. Actually, it looks longer on the video, but really this is such a quick, simple, easy, healthy dish. I hope you guys enjoyed this Tex-Mex chicken and zucchini and please share and like and see you next time.